Sivajal Kumar Sen on in this video tutorial you are going to learn about ECM that stand for electrochemical machine so is yes I'm not going to share with you what is it and what that you know every very well about it but here uh, if you don't know then you can read from any book or anything else any resources you can use but here what I am going to share with you only problems related to kit and what exactly you require to solve problems I am going to share with you so today in this video tutorial we will learn about ECM and how to find out MRR that means material removal rate of this electrochemical machine okay so basically material removal rate is denoted by Q and we know that Q is equal to AI is equal to rho Z F don't worry I am going to share with you each and everything what are these things about what is A basically it's gram atomic weight a is gram atomic weight i is here if you're talking about this i that is known as current and this should be in ampere now let's move to next one rho is density and the unit of density would be in gram centimeter cube remember that now z this is known as valence of the cation valence of the cation now the last one that is F this is known as Faraday constant Faraday's constant and its value is 96500 CO column CO UL O M B S so this is this is all about finding out material removal rate of this machine now i would like to share with you another thing that is also important okay so what is that basically that is equivalent weight i will share with you couple of more questions those have been asked in this topic only that's why you will have base as well as you will come to know formulas what required so from this formula only we can come to know what is equivalent weight that is z by a z by a is known as equivalent to it so uh, you know sorry it's a a by z it's a by z is known as equivalent to it so what is a basically i have shared with you gram atomic weight z is known as balance of the cation okay so uh, maybe i mean no, many books they have said that this is balance and all that but yes balance of cation is the right thing okay so this is all about the simple information about electrochemical machine that means the formula and what are things we have given in this formula now we'll go for the numerical problems what i wanted to share with you that is numerical problems those already asked in gate so i'm sure you are interested to learn those numerical problems right so let's go for it so here we have in uh, there's a question in front of you right now now as i share with you in this dot well you are going to learn about only finding out uh, you know by using that formula what we have to find out uh, we have given things right so here at the end of this question you can see we have to find out material removal rate so the formula for the but 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 the met what do you have to find out the current ampere required for achieving this material removal material removal rate and this is an ampere so what we have to find out basically that is current we have to find out but we need to know this formula mrr what is the formula for mr that is i have already shared a i a i a for you know atomic weight you can say i is current is equal to rho by rho z f so this is the formula for this now we have to find out i so i can say Q is known as MRR. So Q into rho Z F by A is equal to I. Now, what is Q? What is rho? What is Z? If I will put in the right way, then definitely I am going to get this answer. Now, what is A basically? 56. Atomic weight is 56, right? Now, what we have to do? We have to just calculate other things. I mean, just have to put values of other things. Once we will put all values and things will become quite easier. Now, what we have? This one. Material removal rate. But again, remember, this is, of course, Q is in centimeter Q, but in per second. But it is given per minute. That's why I have to do this. 2 by 60. 
rho d that is density density is given 7.8 z is valency that is 2 and f is 96500 that is known as faraday's constant 96500 columns so what we required right now to solve the problem that is a calculator right so here is the calculator i have right now 2 divided 60 multiple 7.8 multiple 2 multiple 96500 divided 56 how much getting m right now 9607 ampere right so this is the uh, you know unit of uh, current so you can see the answer right now what is the answer yeah c is the right answer for this question okay so this is the question for finding out uh, material i mean for current as well as you know the, the first formula for for the formula we are using that is material removal rate of electrochemical machining electrochemical machine so let's go for the next question in this topic only i mean in this uh, you know machining process only so again we are going to solve this question and this is you know one one of the most important thing i would like to share with you if you are preparing for gate then ecm is most important let me just this is most important machining process i mean they have asked question from this machining process couple of times uh, then other machining process right so we need to learn each and everything about this machining process i am going to share with you step by step in different different videos that's why you can learn each and everything about this ecm but one by one if i will tell you together then probably we are not going to get things you know right away so it will take time and definitely i will share with you each and everything about this machining process so let's go for this numerical problem so first of all we need to find out what we need to find out the problem at the end of the video at of the end of the question what we have given mrr m r r that is means q but again unit we need to look at unit in general the mrr mrr unit we have is that is known as centimeter cube per second right but it is given gram per second gram per second that is important now let's look at look at the formula q is equal to ai by rho z f now q is in centimeter cube right second okay so uh, we have to get this unit gram per second okay no problem so let's put all values what we have given in this formula first of all a a is atomic weight okay okay no problem now the atomic weight we have given for copper is 63 i is we have given ampere 5000 and rho we don't have given because we haven't found out z valence resolution is 1 and f is 96500 right so what we don't have given rho okay don't worry just just send this rho to this side this side so what we got here q into rho is equal to 63 into 5000 divided by 96500 right yeah you can see so 63 multiple 5000 divided by 96500 is equal to this much how much getting values i am 3.26 now i have to look at its unit so its unit q unit of q is centimeter cube per second density is mass by volume gram per centimeter cube this will, this will cancel so gram per second so if you this this is the unit of this thing is gram per second which is we required in this question so the answer we are getting 3.626 that means this is the right answer what exactly we want to do find out now the next step is what we have to do we have to check the options we have given in the question so you can as it is you can see this is the right answer for this question uh, option number b yeah so now most important thing in this uh, topic is what is most important that is the formula of mrr once you will come to know the formula let's understand all things we have in this formula and one more thing i would like to share with you probably any question they will say they will tell you v is equal to ir relation so they they will probably give you this density is equal to mass by volume so they can have they can relate these things together to confuse or to you know to make the problem a little bit difficult so 
you need to understand where is the exactly relation between uh, formulas so that is the most important thing to solve numerical problems so uh, i hope you got something new from this video tutorial and uh, see you soon in my next video tutorial i'm sure this uh, the this uh, the next one would be much better i mean uh, will help you a lot like this one okay so if you like the tutorial subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you soon next video in my next video bye bye